Top 20 Site Engineer Interview Questions and Answers Are you preparing for a site engineer interview? In this video, we'll cover the top 20 most commonly asked questions with expert sample answers to help you ace your next opportunity. 1. Tell me about yourself and your experience as a site engineer. I'm a qualified civil engineer with over five years of experience as a site engineer. I've managed residential, commercial, and infrastructure projects from excavation to final handover. My expertise includes supervising site activities, coordinating with stakeholders, and ensuring timely project completion within budget and quality standards. I'm proficient in AutoCAD, MS project, and site documentation. I'm known for strong communication, technical accuracy, and leadership. I thrive in dynamic environments, resolve challenges proactively, and stay committed to safety and compliance. I take pride in seeing plans turn into functional structures through my efforts on the ground. Two. What types of construction projects have you worked on? I have worked on a wide range of construction projects, including multi-story residential buildings, commercial complexes, industrial sheds, and highway infrastructure. These projects involved foundation works, RCC structures, MEP coordination, and finishing activities. I have also handled renovation and retrofit projects, which required keen attention to detail and phased execution. Each project helped strengthen my understanding of construction sequencing, materials management, and technical standards. I collaborated closely with architects, consultants, and vendors to ensure project specifications were met. This variety of work has given me a well-rounded view of construction and adaptability across different project scales. 3. How do you ensure compliance with safety regulations on site? I ensure safety compliance by conducting regular site inspections, enforcing PPE use, and implementing safety protocols per OSHA slash local guidelines. I hold daily safety briefings and toolbox talks to address potential hazards. I ensure workers are trained in safe practices and emergency procedures are well communicated. Signages, barricades, and safety markings are installed as required. Any unsafe behavior is corrected immediately. Documentation of safety drills, incident logs, and safety checklists is maintained. I believe a proactive safety culture is key to preventing accidents and promoting a productive work environment. Four, how do you interpret and use construction drawings and blueprints? I review construction drawings thoroughly to understand dimensions, layouts, material specifications, and technical details. I cross-check structural, architectural, and services drawings to identify discrepancies early. On-site, I use drawings to guide excavation, formwork, rebar placement, and alignment tasks. I often translate complex plans into practical, actionable steps for the team. I use AutoCAD and PDF markup tools to annotate changes or clarify RFI responses. During execution, I continuously refer to blueprints to ensure conformance and assist junior staff in understanding details. I also verify that as-built conditions match design intent and document any site deviations accordingly. 5. How do you handle unexpected site issues or delays? When facing unexpected site issues, I assess the situation quickly to determine the root cause. I communicate with relevant stakeholders, engineers, suppliers, or subcontractors to devise a solution. If necessary, I adjust the work schedule to prioritize critical path items. I also explore alternative methods or materials that meet standards and avoid project disruption. All decisions are documented and approved before implementation. For delays due to weather or supply shortages, I inform the project manager and client immediately, updating timelines accordingly. I believe in transparent communication, flexibility, and prompt problem solving to maintain project momentum. Six. What experience do you have with site inspections and quality checks? I've conducted regular site inspections to ensure workmanship and material quality meet project specifications. This includes checking concrete works, reinforcement placements, formwork alignment, masonry, and finishes. I use checklists for systematic quality control and coordinate with consultants for third-party inspections. I also verify that approved materials are used and stored properly. Nonconformances are documented and corrective actions are taken promptly. I supervise testing procedures such as slump tests, 
cube casting, and waterproofing checks. These inspections ensure compliance with IS codes and project standards. Consistent quality monitoring helps in minimizing defects and avoiding costly rework. 7. How do you manage subcontractors and laborers on site? I manage subcontractors by clearly defining scope, timelines, and quality expectations through work orders and daily briefings. I monitor their performance and ensure they have required resources and access to the site. I maintain a respectful yet firm communication approach, resolving conflicts quickly. For laborers, I assign tasks based on skill and availability, ensuring they're briefed on safety and method statements. I track attendance, productivity, and progress regularly. Regular coordination meetings are held to align efforts and resolve bottlenecks. By building trust and accountability, I foster a motivated workforce focused on meeting targets efficiently. 8. What tools and software do you use for project tracking and reporting? I use MS Project and Primavera P6 for scheduling and tracking progress against the project timeline. For daily reporting, I maintain digital site diaries and Excel-based formats to log activities, resources, and labor deployment. AutoCAD and PDF markup tools assist in reviewing and communicating design updates. I also use mobile apps like PlanGrid or Procore for document control and punch lists. These tools help in real-time tracking, photo documentation, and seamless communication. Weekly reports are generated to update stakeholders on progress, issues, and resource utilization. This structured approach keeps the project organized and transparent. 9. How do you maintain accurate site records and daily logs? I maintain daily site logs that include weather conditions, manpower deployed, work activities, equipment usage, deliveries, inspections, and any incidents. I use digital forms and cloud storage to keep these records accessible and secure. Each log is time-stamped and reviewed before submission to the project manager. I also file inspection reports, material receipts, RFI communications, and client approvals systematically. Keeping accurate documentation helps in progress tracking, dispute resolution, and billing. I ensure logs are filled promptly each day to avoid gaps and maintain consistency. It's a discipline that supports accountability and project control. 10. Describe your process for coordinating with architects, suppliers, and consultants. Coordination begins with understanding project requirements through meetings and reviews with architects and consultants. I communicate technical queries and clarifications via RFIs and emails. For suppliers, I share material specifications and timelines and follow up on procurement schedules. I arrange regular coordination meetings to discuss progress, resolve issues, and align site activities with design intent. I maintain clear documentation of all decisions and approvals, prompt communication, proactive follow-ups, and a solutions-driven mindset help ensure seamless coordination. 11. How do you handle material shortages or procurement delays? When material shortages arise, I immediately check available stock and assess whether temporary substitutions can be made without compromising quality. I inform procurement and project managers to expedite delivery or arrange alternate suppliers. I prioritize work sequencing to continue unaffected activities and prevent site standstill. If delays persist, I communicate with the client or consultant to propose adjusted timelines or revised material options. I also review procurement schedules regularly to anticipate issues in advance. My approach combines proactive planning, swift action, and transparent communication to minimize the impact of shortages on project progress. 12. What is your approach to ensuring work is completed on time and within budget? I follow the project schedule strictly and break it into weekly slash daily targets. I monitor progress daily, track resources, and identify potential delays early. I coordinate closely with subcontractors and ensure materials and equipment are available ahead of time. I also enforce productivity standards and streamline workflow to avoid wastage. Budget adherence is ensured by tracking material usage, controlling rework, and preventing unauthorized changes. Regular reviews with the planning and accounts teams help monitor cost and progress. Through effective planning, prioritization, and communication, I ensure deadlines are met without compromising quality or exceeding budget. 13. 
Can you describe a challenging project and how you handled it? On one project, we faced major delays due to heavy monsoon rains, which affected excavation and foundation works. The site became waterlogged, causing material damage and workforce disruption. I proposed a revised drainage solution with temporary pumps and protective coverings. We adjusted the construction sequence to focus on interior fabrication during rains. I coordinated with suppliers to reschedule deliveries and worked closely with labor teams to regain lost time. We implemented double shifts and weekly progress reviews. The project was delivered only two weeks behind schedule, with client appreciation for resilience and adaptive management. 14. How do you ensure the quality of construction meets the required standards? I ensure quality by following approved method statements and checklists at each stage of construction. I supervise activities closely, conduct tests, e.g., concrete slump, cube strength, and ensure proper curing and material usage. I also verify that the work aligns with drawings and specifications through regular inspections. Third-party consultants are involved for critical inspections, and any defects are rectified promptly. I promote a quality-first culture by training workers on standards and ensuring tools and techniques used are appropriate. Continuous monitoring, documentation, and a zero-compromise approach help in delivering durable, compliant structures. 15. What health and safety measures do you implement on-site? I implement safety by ensuring all workers wear appropriate PPE, such as helmets, gloves, vests, and safety boots. I conduct daily toolbox talks and weekly safety drills. Hazard signs, barricades, and first aid kits are installed across the site. High-risk tasks are accompanied by method statements and safety checklists. I ensure machinery is operated by certified personnel only. Regular site audits are conducted with the safety officer, and I immediately rectify unsafe conditions. I also maintain an incident log and ensure workers are trained in emergency procedures. Creating a safety-conscious culture is my priority. 16. How do you handle conflicts among team members on site? When conflicts arise, I intervene promptly to understand each party's perspective. I listen calmly, assess the root cause, and mediate a resolution based on fairness and project priorities. I remind the team of shared goals and the importance of collaboration. If necessary, I involve HR or senior management for persistent issues. I also aim to prevent future conflicts by promoting respectful communication, clearly defining responsibilities, and encouraging feedback. By maintaining transparency and trust, I create a work environment where disputes are resolved constructively and productivity is not compromised by interpersonal issues. 17. What's your approach to conducting toolbox talks or safety meetings? I conduct toolbox talks every morning before work begins. Each session focuses on a specific topic like working at heights, handling tools, or fire safety. I keep the talk brief, interactive, and relevant to the day's tasks. I use visual aids, real examples, and encourage workers to share experiences or questions. Attendance is recorded, and key points are documented. For weekly safety meetings, I include progress on safety goals, incident reviews, and upcoming risks. These sessions are essential for fostering awareness, reinforcing safety culture, and encouraging accountability among the workforce. 18. How do you manage site waste and environmental concerns? I manage site waste by categorizing and segregating it, concrete, metal, wood, and general waste. I ensure proper disposal through certified vendors and promote reuse of non-contaminated materials where possible. I follow local environmental regulations and conduct regular audits. Dust and noise are controlled using barriers, water sprinkling, and mufflers. I ensure materials are stored to prevent spillage and environmental damage. Hazardous materials like chemicals are handled with proper safety measures. By planning waste management from the start and training workers, I minimize environmental impact and maintain a clean, compliant site. 19. What steps do you take to prevent construction defects? Preventing defects begins with thorough planning, using approved drawings and quality materials. I ensure work is carried out per specifications and monitor each activity with checklists. I supervise critical operations like concreting, waterproofing, 
and finishing to detect issues early. I coordinate closely with subcontractors and conduct mock-ups when needed. I involve consultants for inspection and testing and ensure proper curing and protection of completed work. I also train laborers on quality workmanship and address issues promptly to avoid rework. By staying proactive and detail-focused, I maintain quality from start to finish. 20. Why do you want to work with our company as a site engineer? I admire your company's reputation for delivering high-quality, innovative projects and maintaining strong ethical values. I'm particularly impressed by your focus on sustainability and team development. Joining your team would provide an excellent opportunity to contribute my technical skills and grow through challenging projects. I'm confident that my experience in project execution, safety compliance, and quality management aligns well with your standards. I'm eager to collaborate with your professionals and be part of a company that values excellence, continuous improvement, and employee growth. It would be an honor to contribute to your ongoing success. Thanks for watching. If you found these site engineer interview questions helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more career-focused content. Good luck with your engineering journey.